All right, so it all comes down to this, ladies and gentlemen, as we set our eyes on the number one light heavyweight contender, Daniel. I often say the greatest part of this job for you and me is seeing a non-champion break through and strike UFC gold for the first time. Yeah, it's the best. It's the best. Because you watch these athletes over the course of the fight week try to wrap their mind around how big of a chance they have. And then when you get to Saturday night, you can see it on their face. They're just thinking about what life looks like after. If I get it done, how does my life change? That he has an opportunity to change everything in regards to his life. And his fight week has been exceptional. It was a great weight cut, very forthcoming in our fighter meeting. All eyes on the number one 205-pound contender here tonight. John Jones. He has graced the octagon with his mindset on one thing tonight. That UFC championship belt. expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pereira not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pereira, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. for this light heavyweight championship fight. Gears, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, John Bones Jones. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed light heavyweight champion, Alex Poetar Perea! So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Great. All right, here we go with round one, and we will see what Alex Pereira can provide for an encore. Has any man or woman in UFC history vaulted to superstardom and the UFC Hall of Fame as quickly as this two-division champion, Alex Pereira? His heart and soul is the striking best striker in this division, and a lot of power is going to be coming his opponent's way here tonight. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long-range weapons are John Jones' call of call. Oh, a nice inside leg kick landed there by Johnny Bone. That was a big check. Absolutely pelted 
assaulted by that head kick. Well, every MMA fight begins on the feet, and that is music to the ears of Alex Pereira, who has found a home for that left hook early. I mean, that's his best shot, man. We have seen Alex Pereira land this left hook in kickboxing to finish Israel Adesanya, and also inside the octagon where he knocked out Sean Strickland. It is such a powerful strike, and Pereira is a master of it. Back and forth we go. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Man, his sidekick is just killer. You saw it right there. He has a really good sidekick. He's so fast at doing that technique, and there is no tell when he attempts that certain strike. Hook lands. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, big left hand. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Jones gets tagged by that stiff jab. Nice. Nicely done. He loaded up there on that high kick. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Jones gets tattooed by that stiff jab. To the body lands flush. Oh, there's that patented leg kick. Oh, man, another huge kick. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. There's the kick. It's blocked. All right, so the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling start. Under a minute now to go. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, nice jab by Pereira. Combination by the champion there. Jones's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. <laughs> 20 seconds left. Well, he's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Final seconds of round one. Second round, straight ahead. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, back to the stool, and he is officially swole. And I'm not talking about muscles. He is swollen up top. I mean, he looks bad. It's because he was too stationary. He was on the receiving end of too many big shots. He was beat up. He was battered. He was bruised. And look at all the swelling. It shows that he has taken Ready. far too many. All right, round two. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Well, here it is 
once again that left hook from oh, gets back to his feet. Huge block there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. All right, seems as though his sole focus. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Big combination. Lands a big elbow there. Watch for him to set up that hook again now. Oh, big elbow. Effective punch there by Jones. All right, so the big storyline in this one, his offensive prowess, particularly when it comes to landing those hooks. And I know you like to play Tony Romo. You think he goes back to it here? I am almost certain that he's going to go back to that specific punch because it's landed every time he throws it. And as the fight has gone on, it is landing with more force, and his opponent is starting to wear down. So I will not be surprised if we see another one that ends the fight. Jones is blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Well, Ryan Fighter continues to pressure the kickboxer and landed a really nice hook in that exchange. You can tell every time he wants to really put some damage on his opponent because he goes to the hook. It's his best punch, and he lands it once again. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Oh, how many knees can one man take? to the body. When they land perfect, that's the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. Yes, smart adjustment, yep. Pereira getting absolutely worked here from the top. Let's see if there's an uptick in his urgency here as he tries to get back up. Just over two minutes now to go. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Beautiful hook. Trying to go to the... Got her again. Oh, man, he's a hard. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh. And that'll do it for Alex Pereira. That has got to feel good. Oh, boy. We go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 37 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Hoatai All right, so it is Alex Pereira by knockout. Get used to hearing that. One of the more powerful, explosive middleweights on the roster. And